thank you for joining me. This is number three in my recap series. We're just leaving Bourneville here and we've just got a short journey to the North Stratford Canal where we'll take a sharp left and go down the North Stratford Canal towards Lapworth. Here we have a very unique feature on the North Stratford Canal. It's an old stop lock that used to control the water between the Stratford Canal and the Worcester and Birmingham Canal. And it's a guillotine stop lock at both ends. Unique on the network, I believe. It's here today as a historical reminder of the past. The stop lock is no longer in use. I'm really glad that they have actually left them in. It's really nice to see parts of our history. The thing that I really don't like is the fact that the graffiti artists think they can ruin it and ruin our history by all their awful, terrible destruction of this historic monument. Here we are now coming towards the end of Brandwood Tunnel. It's only a short tunnel. When I went in the other end it was raining and I come out to sunshine. It must be a magic tunnel. As we come down the North Stratford Canal here, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm really enjoying it. The only thing I'm not enjoying is, you may hear that the engine is revving quite hard. We're hardly moving. The canal is very shallow and I keep touching bottom as we go along. A little clue here to where I filmed the Kingfisher. I filmed it after mooring up just past this house. And here is that most wonderful bird we're so fortunate to see sometimes when boating. The beautiful kingfisher. I've been told by somebody else that this is a male kingfisher. I was unable to tell the difference, but I'm told underneath the beak is darker, which makes it a male. Absolutely beautiful to watch. Unbelievable how accurate they are in their fishing. Being able to work out the refractive index of the water and target their prey so accurately. Well, that was a huge stroke of luck. I did not realise that this lift bridge was going to be left in the up position. It normally isn't. But there's road work going on and they've left it up because cars can't travel on the road opposite at the moment. What you can't see here is where they've just mown the grass here, they upset a huge wasp nest. And as I walk back towards the boat here, there's wasps absolutely everywhere. I have to dodge them and jump around them. And I try getting back on the boat as quick as I can before I get stung. Luckily enough, I managed to make it and I did not get stung once. Well, it's time to get away from those wasps ASAP and get through this lift bridge before they come along and change their minds and might put back down again. I 
I find experiences like this so rewarding where the canopy of trees makes a tunnel that you travel through. The way the light flickers through is mesmerizing. Well, I'm now working my way down the North Stratford Canal. I've just left Hockley Heath this morning and my first obstruction of the day is straight in front of us. It's a lift bridge, or as known around here, a drawbridge. Let's just tie the boat up loosely because I'm going to have to use the rope in a moment to pull the boat through. Well, here it goes. We'll cross the bridge. I'm just checking it out to start off with what to do. That's the old lifting gear, obviously. And here's the new hydraulic lifting gear. So we have to lift the bridge up. I've got to get the boat and tie onto that one little bollard there. Yes, yeah, a 60 foot boat on six foot of offside mooring. Doesn't work out very well. Then I've got to pull the boat through and reattach it this side. It's the old winding gear. You see where the rope or chain went on there. And this is what we've got today to use a hydraulic lift. This is actually the first lift bridge I've actually done solo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the bow of the boat up as close as I can to the bridge so that the front well deck is parallel with the wall. I'm going to have to stop the boat, run through the boat because my gun walls are very narrow and I don't want to climb down them, especially past bushes. Get off the boat, grab the rope, tie it up, Lift the bridge. Oh, I'm going to stop in time. Oh, put the brakes on. Put the brakes on. Oh. I don't quite hit. When I come down through the front of the boat, I'm actually an inch away from the boat hitting. That was a close one. So let's lift this bridge and get this boat through. Crank it the right way, Burgess. There she goes. Very close to my bow camera. Now I've got to drag the boat through. This is not easy either. I made it through the lift bridge okay. Now I'm approaching, or well, getting close to anyway, the top of Lapworth Locks. I'm going to moor up here for a day or two. It's going to be very hot for the next couple of days. I'm going to let it cool off a little bit, I hope. Well, I had my couple of days break at the top of the flight. Now to get down Lapworth Locks in record speed. Oh, okay then. This is time lapse. We'll slow down in a moment.
I think this is the uh, first split bridge I've actually come across on my journey. Great idea, split down the middle so the tow rope for the horse to go through. And this being a turnover bridge as well, quite cleverly, it's like little cotton reel up here, rope print around that as well to stop it snagging. Well, that is all the Dapworth locks I'm going to do. I'm going to take the little link arm and cut through here and take me onto the Grand Union Canal. So that's the last one for me. That's the way I'm going. And if I carried on down there, that would have been take me down the other six locks of Lapworth Flight on the Stratford Canal. I'm going onto the Grand Union, heading off towards Warwick. quite amazing since I came off the Stratford Canal and onto the Grand Union the difference in the width and the depth of the canal even through this cutting here it's uh, still wide and very deep compared with the Stratford Canal I'm doing half the revs and twice the speed I was touching bottom pushing silt nearly all the way down the Stratford Canal and the Birmingham and Worcester Canal wasn't much better. And there we have it, Shrewley Tunnel. Well, that's the way I'm going this morning, down to Warwick, after doing Hatton Flight, where we've come from, Shrewley Tunnel. But I've got to love this sign. First lock on Hatton Flight done. As we just run the bridge 51C, which looks uh, a little bit worse for wear there. We get to the last lock of the Hatton flights, and it hasn't come too soon. My legs are dead. That's a tough one in this heat. It's a tough one any day, let alone in uh, 30 degree weather. Goodbye Hatton flight. You nearly killed me. Now to find somewhere the more up in a couple of days at Warwick. Well I've stayed at Warwick for three days. It's now time to leave. That's the Cape of Good Hope pub over there. Had a couple of beers in there a couple of times with the lady I came down Hatton flight with, Pauline. And now it's time for me to head on down Cape Locks, down the Grand Union Canal, on towards the Oxford Canal. Rather a lot of new builds here in Leamington Spa since I last came down here, plus a cat muriel. As I finish off coming down the end of the Grand Union Canal, this once was a narrow lock, and now of course we have the wide lock. I'm going to say goodbye to you all, thank you very much for watching my recap number three. There will be one more to come, which will be the southern part of the Oxford Canal. I hope you enjoyed this recap. There are some new film in this which you didn't see in the original films. I will put a list of all the videos or vlogs they all came from in the description below. So if you want to see any of them in full, just go to the description below and click on the links. That just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor Ames.